Hello, I'm Tina Jennings. Did you know that we are home to Southern Arizona's premier and only Jewish day school? Well, let's take a moment to learn more about the Tucson Hebrew Academy from head of school John Ben Asher, along with student body president Gabe Reskin and Shira Dubin, who is student body vice president. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. John, let's talk, like I said, we're going to learn more about the academy today. So let's start there. Tell me a little bit about it. Sure. So Tucson Hebrew Academy is a community Jewish day school here in Southern Arizona. We're a kindergarten through eighth grade program, and uh, we pride ourselves in being a small school with an intimate community. We have phenomenal um, academics, rigorous, challenging, engaging academics. We have, uh, of course, as a Hebrew Academy, um, we're a Jewish day school, and we're a community school, which means that all types of different kinds of Jews are at the Tucson Hebrew Academy, so we're not specific to any one type of the faith. Okay. And we also have a few non-Jewish students as well. Um, it's a very exciting program and really fires up kids and, and teaches them about not only how to be great academicians and successful in school, but how to live a Jewish life. And so I'm sure a lot of what you said maybe sets you apart from other schools. Absolutely. Um, we have a very unique program. There, there's a heart and a soul at THA that you just won't find anywhere else. Oh. Um, we have a, a very involved parent community, but there's also this sense of community amongst the students between grade levels and between the kids and the teachers. Tremendous relationships, amazing educators, and a great place to grow up as a child. Well, I see some heads that are nodding as you're uh, saying about this. So let's talk a little bit more in depth about uh, the teachers, the curriculum, things uh, sure. that it's kind of day in and day out. Sure, so we have a highly skilled staff of, of teachers, um, very professional, very kid-centered, uh, most of them with advanced degrees and specialists in their subject area. We have a, a lower school, which is kind of like an elementary school, okay. and an upper school, which is kind of like a middle school. And at upper school, we have a teacher for history and for science and so forth. We also have Tucson's premier STEM festival coming up on March 26th. Yeah. So for those of you in the community who are interested in science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, come out. It's now our STEAM program this year. But let's check in with Gabe and Shira. Yeah. Um, why did you guys decide to come to THA? Um, I guess I'll go first. So it actually started, I was at a cafe, Cafe at the J once, and um, I was with my grandmother. And um, Mr. Benasher actually walked over and he turned to my grandmother and he said, you should get the 16 ounce soup of the day. <laughs> <laughs> what a and, chance meeting. Yeah. And then um, he started asking me about where I was going to school. And um, I don't know why, but when I heard about it, I just got excited and I just felt so safe. And it, there was just this feeling and I just knew I had to go there. Wow. Well, I, my parents sent me, I've been going since first grade, and they really wanted me to have a great education and a good education, so they sent me to THA, and I really felt like I have gotten that there. So I love that these are two completely different uh, Very paths. different experiences. Yeah, right? to get there, and I'm sure a lot of people kind of have different ways. Maybe they saw it on the morning blend, and they right. heard about you. Um, so let's talk about the families. We were, you know, kind of saying your family sent you, or we ran mm. into uh, you mm. and, and your family member. What about affording to go to the academy? Sure. Um, we are a nonprofit, so um, people think of us as a private school, but the, rec ter the correct term is independent school because okay. we're a nonprofit. So um, it's, not, it's not cheap, but we make it affordable. There is amazing um, tax scholarship, I'm sorry, tax credit mm -hmm. scholarship opportunities available. We're fortunate in Arizona, there's an organization called JETCO where um, people who pay state income tax are able to make a contribution of their state income tax right to JETCO. And so through that vehicle, we're able to fund the students at the school. Wow. And we have a, a large percentage of kids who are there on scholarship. One of our mantras is that we never want to let money be a barrier to an education at THA. And we work closely with families to, to determine what is their level of comfort, and um, we help them from there. Well, I love that we're talking about that right now because you're right. Maybe that is something that was keeping someone from wanting some more information sure. or or getting that, uh, you know, uh, deciding if this was the right thing for their child. And I'm glad we're talking about that. So I know you guys are going to be going into the real world before we even know it. How do you think the education there uh, really prepares them? Um, well, I feel super prepared. I'm going to university high school. And I feel like the teachers have really prepared me and helped me, and I feel like I'm going to do well in, in high school. Um, I'm also going to university high school, and I think they've also really prepared me. They're really helping me get ahead of the game, and um, yeah, they're just, they're always there for us if we need help, and it's nice. 
You hear a little bit about those relationships the teachers yeah. have with the kids. And they're, they're, our graduates have a strong sense of self. Mm -hmm. You know, middle school's tough, adolescence is tough, growing up is hard in our society. And so here's an educational experience where kids know who they are. They know their traditions and backgrounds. They, they, they wrestle with the hard questions in life and they have great opportunities to explore those. So they graduate with this strong moral compass, as we like to say. They also have a sense that they have a responsibility to give back to the community, to, to do good in the world. Yeah. Um, and they are prepared. These two are UHS bound. Not all of our kids decide to go to UHS, but if they want that, they have the, the framework and the opportunity to build there. So we know our kids are academically strong. They become leaders in the schools that they attend, and they go off to some of the best colleges um, yeah. in the country. So it's a very exciting kind of platform to launch from as a child in America. A solid base is uh, something that is priceless. I'm going to remind everybody how they can get some more information and maybe sure. see again if this is uh, the right fit for them. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you well. so much. Thanks for having us, Tina. Absolutely. For more information and to schedule a tour or shadow day for your child, contact the Director of, Ad of Admissions, Julie Dawson, by calling 529-3888. Or you can learn more by visiting thaaz.org.